year is 1988. Blockbuster movies included Die Hard, Coming to America, and People Beautiful. Youngsters wore shoulder pads, tracksuits, and Nike Air Maxes. And there was hair. A lot of hair. No better time then to launch the first ever M5 BE28, the one that started it all. At the time it launched, it was the fastest sedan in the world. When car and driver tested it, the M5 secured the Heading numbers for the time. Establishing the M5 formula, a super sedan that offered performance forms of motorsport without sacrificing practicality and all day comfort. It featured a race spread 3.5 inline six cylinder engine based on the M1 fourth car and a five speed manual gearbox. But unlike other high performance cars of the day, it offered four doors, a luxurious interior, a large trunk, and excellent visibility. In 1988, it cost $48,000, the equivalent of $135,000 today. It is definitely a high price and sought after classic. Fast forward a few years to the second generation which debuted in the U.S. in 1991. The World Wide Web was just getting started and notebooks had taken on a new meaning with the first laptops being introduced to the market. Seeing the turn of the charts is simply the best. Well, I should have been talking about the M5. The E34 may be the most understated of them all. While it looks very much like any 535i, its inline six now produced over 300 horsepower and revved to 7,200. Car and driver sounded up best. Sheer power may not even be the M5's best quality. Its true best quality may just be that. It's pure best. Given some perfectly reasonable criteria, BMW's new generation M5 may just be the best car in the world. And like its predecessor, it was largely hand-built as the M-Works in Dusty, the last of its kind to be built this way. The E34 introduced two noteworthy firsts for an M car, a six-speed manual transmission and an electronically adjustable suspension. It was also the first to be offered as a touring model, so the touring was never sold here in the US. Moving on to the third generation. The year was 2000, the new century. Tiger Woods became a household name, bucket hats, wedge sandals, and blue eyeshadow was all the rage. Kids were either playing snake on their Nokias or trading Pokemon cards on the playground. Enter the E39 M5. Now, a few cars caused enthusiasts find people like this one. For many fans of the mark, the third generation altogether the very best of what makes an M5 or any M car so very special. A 400 horsepower, high revving V8 engine combined with a slick shifting manual gearbox, the suspension equally at home on the turnpike and the race track, and truly unstated style. Car and driver called it the greatest super sedan of all time when it was introduced. The E39 also marked the introduction of several luxury features we now take for granted, such as dual zone automatic climate control, head protection airbags, and available satellite navigation. Priced at about $69,000, it was the most successful M5 to date, selling 21,000 units, more than the previous two generations combined. Here's a fun fact. This car shared the spotlight with Madonna and Clive Owen in the BMW film series, The Hire Star. With the fourth generation, it was 2006. The year that caused us the Nintendo Wii and Taylor Swift first album. The first tweets were sent on Twitter and Pixar's cars had people racing to theaters. Enter the E60 M5. By now, the M5 competition was much stronger and BMW needed to distinguish itself with a very special, highly emotional offering. 
the fourth generation M5 was a technological moonshot. The motorsport DNA was, of course, still present. This time, in the form of a 500 horsepower, a 5 litre V10 engine, the first with lessons learned from BW time in Formula 1, connected to the sequential manual gearbox with a stratospheric 8,250 RPM redline. The E60 M5 positively at least shriek to 60 miles an hour in only 4.5 seconds. And once again, there was a dirty version, but not here in the US. Now, let's move on to 2013. The year the word selfie Changed the way we take pictures forever, and TV shows like Breaking Bad broke records. The fifth generation M5 marked a return to V8 power, but for the very first time, added M, twin power turbo technology to the formula. While the V8 and the F10 M5 were smaller than the outgoing V10, power increased by 10%, torque by 30%, while fuel consumption improved by 30%. Efficient dynamics coming to end. A seven-speed dual clutch transmission replaced the sequential gearbox for the E60, and the ultra-quick shifts helped drop the 0 60 time to 4.3 seconds. The F10 familiar programmable M buttons on the steering wheel and opened the door to never-before-seen levels of connectivity via the BW connected app. About 21,000. Fifth generation M5s were sold globally. In the US, the base price was about $19,000. And a modified F10 M5 was the mobile refueling drift car for BMW's Guinness World Record for the longest drift. Moving on to the sixth generation. The year is 2018. Not so long ago, but so long ago. The year of America joined the British royal family and the word COVID-19 did not exist yet. Think about it, those were the times. For the sixth generation M5, the engineers at BMW M wanted to add to the list of superlatives. More power, more torque, faster acceleration, better handling. The M5 arrived with a full 600 horsepower, which increased to 617 when the competition package was ordered. To get all of that power to the ground, the F90 M5 was fitted with M X Drive Intelligent All-Wheel Drive and an M Steptronic Big 3 automatic transmission. Both first for an M5. Fun fact, this is the car that won the earlier mentioned Guinness World Record for the longest trip. 232.5 miles over the course of eight hours, completely sideways. Well, it's time for our blast from the past to come to an end. To take us into the here and now, please welcome Sean Buckley, Executive Vice President of Operations, BMW of North America. Thank you, Justin. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's a beautiful day. I'm glad you're with us today visiting, and what I would like to say first and foremost is that I think it's great having a band here. The band gives us a certain energy, and I think that is really going to mirror our program that we have today. Now, as you just saw, we started with the E28 from the M5, and the M5 lineup features icon after icon from everything that's come up here right now. And I think what we've done is that each generation has raised the bar from a level of performance from what a performance sedan should be. Over the past four decades, the BMW M5 has been one of the main drivers of success for the M brand over the entire world. And in the US, we are the largest BMW M market, driven by a passion, an unparalleled passion from our fan base 
and loyal customers. Last year alone, we sold almost 73,000 M vehicles, which accounts for 33% of the entire world volume. And it's probably no surprise to you that here we are in California today, because California is one of our most important markets. It would be nice if maybe the sun had shone, but would have come up by now, but here we are. Um, but also, it is also our most important BEV market. And it accounts for 33% of all of our BEV sales nationwide. And with that, it's obviously a large, growth, a large growth driver for us. So over the first half of this year, our BEV volume has grown 38%. And what that is, is that 15% of our total volume now is electrified. And what that does is that proves that while we are focused on electrification, and that is our plan, our drivetrain diversification strategy is clearly working. From full electric to V8, I think we have a compelling offer across the entire product line that allows us to, co to, co to capture customer demand where others can't. And I think this is where the, the M brand comes in very well, because the M brand is the embodiment of that strategy. You know, in a little bit, you'll see the new M5 come up, and what you'll see is some of the features on that car, actually it features the same hybrid system from a drivetrain perspective, very closely to actually our GTP car that we're racing with. So again, I think what you see is you see race bred performance and a new dimension in utility. And I think this is what really defines the ultimate electrified driving machine. Now to celebrate the arrival of our all new 717 horsepower sedan, we partnered ourselves with BMW M, BMW Individual, along with a collaboration with the Pebble, Pebble Beach Concourse to create a special custom one-of-one -one version. Now this special one-on-one -on -one version is completely bespoke. From a color perspective, exterior, interior, you'll see the combination when you see it later, the wheels, and it's very unique and it will go on auction starting tomorrow at six o'clock. And I really would like all of you to join us at six o'clock at the Gooding Company tomorrow and bid on that. Not just because it's a beautiful car, but it goes for charity and also, I think the other important thing is this will be the first M5 that we deliver in all of BMW of North America. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the seventh generation of this benchmark high-performance car comes with the most power ever. Just wait and see. Now, we brought forward a much-anticipated surprise for you today as well. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to hold that for our next guest. And what I'd li like to do is join me in welcoming the CEO of BMW M, Frank Van Meel. Thank you. to be presenting our latest products here. And uh, as Sean has already told you, the US is a very important market. And to be really precise, for BMW M, 
it is the biggest single market and the most important one and it's not just for one car it's for the entire range the m2 to the core of our high performance products the sedans and convertibles up to the other extreme the uh, bmw m suvs and s 80s like the x5m and x6m as well as the bmw xm now behind me you see six generations of BMW M5. The E28 BMW M5 was the first high performance executive class sedan and has dominated that segment ever since. And now, with 50 or 40 years in that case of history under its wheels, the new BMW M5 is powering into a new era, but it's also taking another step into its evolution without losing its DNA. And next to me here is the seventh generation of the BMW M5, and this car celebrates obviously its world premiere today here in the United States, and at the same time it marks an iconic highlight this year for BMW M. And also this car, like all of its predecessors, sets new standards in the fields of driving, high performance, technology and design. But today we also have something else very special for you and I guess that's what you're waiting for right now. Um, please welcome our highlight of the day, the all new BMW M5 Touring. driving race cars with the V8 hybrid system, the GTP uh, cars and the uh, IMSA. Now this has a similar kind of drivetrain. Uh, so how was it compared to the GTP car? Beautiful, beautiful. I mean, uh, obviously in, in the race car we exit pit lane on electrical motor. Uh, today I got to drive up on the beautiful uh, the V8 twin turbo package here. So uh, what a wonderful car, beautiful piece of machinery, and happy everyone gets to lay their eyes on it. Well, it's great to have you with us today, Connor, and uh, I wish you all the best for the upcoming races with the other V8 hybrid engine. So, uh, push, push, push. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> well, so here it is, the third generation of the BMW M5 Touring, long awaited, and finally here in the United States. Uh, with the BMW M5 Touring, we are completing our M5 family and at the same time we are also expanding the high performance segment to include familiar and typical driving performance combined with uncompromising long distance comfort and impressive spaciousness. Touring variants of the M5 have a long history starting at the early 90s and both the second and fourth generation of the BMW M5 had a Touring. And now knowing that the US has a passion for motorsports, uh, for high performance cars with strong engines like a V8, technical innovations, it seemed logical for us to listen to uh, all the enthusiasts of our AM community here in the US and bring the all new BMW M5 Touring to North America for the first time. And we are proud to still have the 4.4 liter V8 engine under the bonnet and we have combined it with a very strong electric motor and that delivers a very special drive to this car. The total system output is 717 horse brake horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque which allows it to rocket from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 
three and a half seconds. And if customers opt for the M drivers package, the Wagons variant's top speed is 190 miles per hour. Now with the new generation of the BMW M5 Touring, we are also entering a new era of driving. Because the electric motor uh, of the M-Hybrid system produces 194 brake horsepower and it allows you to drive up fully electric to 87 miles per hour with a maximum range of up to 25 miles when totally charged. And this vehicle also represents a landmark moment for M, combining outstanding performance with an engaging and authentic M driving experience. And I can assure you, the M5 Touring will deliver the characteristic M driving experience. Its sportiness is also assisted by the latest technology in chassis engineering. For the first time on the rear axle, we have an active um, uh, rear steering. And also that is combined with the things you already know from other M cars, M adaptive suspension, the M X drive, as well as the active M differential. So this M5 Touring will deliver in the way M fans like it and love it. And now let's take a short closer look at the design. You can see straight lines, large surfaces, and body colored finish, uh, finish for uh, much of the exterior, which gives this car not only a monolithic design, but also a very strong appearance. The sporty front end design with large air intakes roots the air exactly where you want to have it and where it is needed. The dynamic appearance is further emphasized by 20 inch wheels in the front, 21 inch wheels in the rear, and also the wide body measuring an additional 3 inches in the front and 1.9 inches in the rear of width compared to the regular BMW 5 Series give this car a broad stance on the road. But actually, the part I like the most about the, the part I like the most about this car is the rear. The M spoiler, the vertical integrated uh, reflectors, and of course, uh, the diffuser, the two diffuser parts with the twin tailpipes on each side. Actually, that's what M fans are looking and waiting for. And finally, to make it worth the name Touring, or wagon. The boot capacity with the back seats folded down is actually 57.6 cubic feet. So you can take a lot of stuff with you and be very quick. Now production will start November this year and you will see the first cars hit the road early next year. And to celebrate actually the world premiere here of the M5 and M5 Touring to the US, we have brought a true rarity with us because BMW M and BMW North America together in collaboration with the Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance have created a special one-of-a-kind automobile that will be auctioned during Pebble Beach Automotive Week. So you still have a chance to bid with them. The 2025 BMW M5 Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance number one of one will be the first 2025 M5 delivered in North America and stands out for its exclusive paint, upholstery and wheels as well as bespoke interior details that make that M5 completely unique. Now the auction will be on Friday at around 6 p.m. And I would also like to invite you to other things we're doing this week. For instance, uh, Legends of the Autobahn today uh, but also tomorrow and on Saturday we have the Rolex Monterey Motorsports Reunion with some nice cars, three liter CSL M1 and even a McLaren F1 with the famous BMW engine which is there. And of course, last but not least, on Sunday, the Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance. Now with that, I would like to thank you um, for joining us and I would like to hand over and welcome back to the stage the man with the magic voice, Mr. Justin Bell. Thank you. Thank you, Craig. Well, two incredible reveals today, bringing us full circle from past to present. All seven generations of the BMW 5 together. What about a big round of applause, everybody, for BMW bringing these cars? Unbelievable. Well, we've reached the end of our press conference, and 
there are plenty more BMW impulses during the Pebble Beach Automotive Week. As Frank just said, all seven generations of the M5 will parade the legends of the Autobahn. BMW Classic is fielding three historic competition cars during the Rolex Motorsport reunion. And on Sunday, right here on the field, BMW will have two significant cars on the show field. The 1972 BMW Turbo Concept and the 1996 BMW-powered F1 GTR. Also up on the concept lawn, we will have the new M5 and M5 Touring. Everybody have a wonderful Pebble Beach weekend. And remember, M were first across the ramp in 2024. Thank you very much.